welcome to this video today we are having a look at kolkata the metropolitan city of india as a part of social science class 3 the picture that you see here is the howrah bridge on the top left and then you have the victoria memorial which is uh, made of white stone you have the tram here which is one of the beauties of kolkata and then you have the salt lake city where you have the it industry coming up the location of Kolkata. Kolkata was before known as Calcutta, C-A-L-C-U-T-T-A. It is the capital of West Bengal state. West Bengal state was a big state before independence. It was called East Bengal and West Bengal. And then prior to partition, it was divided into two. During partition of India, Bangladesh and Pakistan, at the time of Indian independence, it became past part of Pakistan called East Pakistan. And then thereafter in 69 it became Bangladesh as an independent country that is the East Bengal the portion that we are talking about is West Bengal a state of India Calcutta was the capital of India till 1911 under the British rule both East and West Bengal was very prosperous place and it is very fertile so that is why West Bengal Calcutta was capital of British rule it is known as cultural capital of India. So many intellectuals were born there. The first Nobel laureate of India, Rabindranath Tagore, for literature was from Calcutta. He had set up Shantiniketan near Calcutta. Calcutta is a major port. The port is on River Hooghly. It's in Bay of Bengal, and Ganga is called Hooghly in Calcutta and Padma in Bangladesh. Calcutta is a part of a northern plain and alluvial soil. It is very fertile because the state is part of the eastern coast also so state is part of the northern plain state is part of the eastern coastal plain climate of calcutta it is neither hot nor cold because we have a continental climate because on the sea side we have the land breeze and sea breeze keeping the climate as neither hot nor cold rains quite heavily during the monsoon so calcutta is fertile because of the rains and also because of the river basins and then we have the sundarbans the calcutta government it is the capital of West Bengal state, so the offices of the West Bengal state government, that is the governor, the chief minister, the council of ministers, all of them live and work from Calcutta. Regarding people of Calcutta, people are very simple. The people of Calcutta, the Bengalis, wear very simple cotton clothes. The women wear sarees and men wear dhoti kurta. The cotton sarees of the women of Calcutta are very popular because of the handloom speciality. Most people speak Bangla, little bit of Hindu. Hindi or Assamese is also spoken in addition to Urdu. People are fond of singing, dancing and painting. Football is a very popular sport. Cricket is also popular. Durga Puja is the main festival. Beautiful idols of goddess are made by the artists. And sets are set up where pandals, it's what we call P-A-N-D-A-L. And every year it is very artistic. And awards are given for the most beautiful, most safe, most innovative ideas. Bengalis enjoy eating rice with fish, but you know Bengal for the Rasagulla sweets. That is what every child knows about Bengal because Rasagulla sweets come from Calcutta. Calcutta, the industry is it produces jute as a major industry. Silk, paper, chemicals, leather is also produced, but jute is the major industry. Regarding transport, you can see the Hooghly Bridge, the Howrah Bridge lit up. The Howrah Bridge is on Hooghly at Howrah. It is one of the hanging bridge, steel hanging bridge built very long back in India. It was later renamed. Kolkata Transport. Kolkata is connected by tram as well as metro. The first metro of India was in Kolkata. It goes both underground and overground. Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose International Airport connects to the world. Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose International Airport connects Kolkata to the world. It is also connected by rail from Sialda and Howrah stations. The most important landmark of Calcutta transport are the tram, the metro and the Howrah Bridge on River Hooghly. Tourism. Howrah Bridge on River Hooghly is a major attraction. It's a hanging bridge. It was later renamed as Rabindra Setu. It was later renamed as Rabindra Setu. Vidyasagar Setu was built later across the river. Vidyasagar Setu was built later across the river. It is a road bridge. Fort William, Maidan, Victoria Memorial made of white marble are the places of interest. Maidan is a very open space, a large ground where political meetings can happen. 
Fort William is a part of the British capital and then Victoria Memorial was built of white marble. Kolkata National Library is the largest in India. Kolkata National Library is the largest in India. That is why we call Bengalis as intellectuals. The Botanical Garden, the Birla Planetarium, Alipur Zoo, Rabindra Sarovar and Belur Mutt are other important places. Other places of interest as we discussed earlier, Shanti Niketan is very famous because it was founded by Rabindranath Tagore. Then we have Eden Gardens, the biggest cricket stadium. Eden Gardens is the biggest cricket stadium. Chowringhi, an important business center. Chowringhi, C-H-O-W-R-I-N-G-H-E-E, -E, Chowringhi, an important business center. Belur Mutt is famous because Sri Ramakrishna and Vivekananda are associated with Belur Mutt Ramakrishna mission. Alipur Zoo is a famous sanctuary and Rabindra Sabor is a lake on the river. So these are the places of interest in Calcutta. So to recap, people are simple, sari, dhoti, kurta are worn by the people, agriculture is the main occupation, jute and leather industries are popular, Howrah Bridge on River Hooghly is a hanging bridge, it was renamed as Rabindra Setu, Calcutta is well connected by tram and metro, the first metro in India, Vidya Sagar Setu was built later, Victoria Memorial is made of marble, Kolkata National Library is the largest in India, Belur Mutt is the headquarters of Ramakrishna Mission and Vivekananda and Ramakrishna are associated with it. Eden Gardens, India's largest cricket stadium. Shantini Ketan, founded by Dramenath Tagore. Chowringi is an educational center. Thanks for watching this video on Calcutta. Next we shall see Chennai.